Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is endometrial ablations. So, first of all, let us define the endometrial ablations. The endometrial ablations refer to all the techniques which permanently destroy the functional layer of endometrium and up to 5 mm of myometrium in order to reduce the heavy menstrual bleeding. And what are the prerequisites of endometrial ablations? The prerequisites of endometrial ablations include, first of all, the uterus size of up to 10 weeks. And secondly, we have to make sure that no fertility is required. Now, the question arises, who is the best candidate for endometrial ablations? The procedure is best for pre- and perimenopausal women who suffer from heavy periods. And the ideal candidate is a woman with a bothersome heavy menses who no longer desire fertility and doesn't have any congenital uterine anomalies that is born with an uh, abnormal shape uterus and isn't at risk of endometrial cancer so uh, these uh, types of the women are candidates for endometrial ablations now let us talk about the first generation endometrial ablations basically we have two generations first generation and the second generation and you have to remember the names these are very important for the first generation um Remember TRL, which first of all include the trans cervical resection of endometrium, also called TCRE. And the second one is that of the roller ball technique. And the third one is endometrial laser ablation. So remember TRL, trans cervical resection of endometrium, roller ball technique, and laser ablations. So what is trans cervical resection of endometrium, that is TCRE? This technique involves resecting the endometrium using a 3 mm electrosurgical loop with a resectoscope. And both monopolar and bipolar energy source resectoscope are available and these are used in TCRE procedures. In monopolar, we use glycine as a medium and in bipolar, normal saline is used. So what is the advantage of bipolar medium? The advantage of this bipolar medium is that there is no risk of glycine overload or transurethral resection syndrome. But the disadvantage of this bipolar medium is that water can mix with the blood during procedure and can obscure the visibility of surgical feet. And the longest uh, learning curve and highest complication rates are also there along with the TCRE procedure. Let us talk about the second type of first generation technique that is the roller ball technique. In this technique, a roller ball electrode is used instead of loop. And the technique is similar to trans cervical resection of endometrium but without the removal of tissue. The results of the roller ball ablations are similar to trans cervical resection of endometrium but the risk of complication is significantly lower. Let us talk about the third type of first generation technique and that is the endometrial laser ablations. The uterine cavity is distended with a normal saline in this type of technique. Then 600 micro micrometer flexible quartz fiber is inserted that transmits uh, anti-vague laser energy to the endometrium. The entire endometrial cavity is symmetrically treated. It is rarely used uh, nowadays in a view of the costs, prolonged operation time and the safety aspects of using lasers in OT. Now let us talk about the second generation endometrial ablations that include first of all the NOAA-SURE which uses the bipolar radio frequency. The second one is that of the thermal uh, shore with, in which we use the fluid filled thermal balloons and the third one is hydrotherm ablations in which heated saline is used for the ablation purpose now what are the perioperative complications with the first and second generation techniques the perioperative complications include first of all the hemorrhage secondly perforations cervical lacerations occur in 0.2 percent of the cases and there might be other complications like endometritis or hematometra now let us talk about the long-term complications of endometrial ablations which include first of all the vaginal discharge secondly there is risk of infection like endometritis myometritis etc 
Thirdly, there might be certain pregnancy related complications like miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy. And lastly, we shouldn't forget the post ablation syndrome that is present in about 6 to 10 percent of the cases. Now, the last question which technique is preferred? In women with more than one previous caesarean section, previous uterine surgery such as myomectomy or congenital malformations, the preferred option is to treat, treat the uh, endometrial cavity under direct visions using a roller ball. So, so the roller ball technique is the preferred technique. While the hydrothermal ablations could be considered for the repeat ablation procedure, generally the roller ball is recommended so that only areas of endometrial regrowth are treated under direct visions to minimize the risk of perforation and extra uterine visceral injury. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to complete it with this quote. If you want to be happy, don't dwell in the past. Don't worry about the future. Focus on living fully in the present. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.